Well, it's really been a while since I've done one of these. This is every Senate guard slash Senate commando that Hasbro ever made in the Hasbro Star Wars 3 and the quarter inch scale. We have the Power of the Jedi one, Revenge of the Sith, Vintage Collection, and three Clone Wars Senate commandos. Uh, as you can see, there wasn't too many. Uh, there's just a handful. Um, but the reason why this video took so long is because for whatever reason, I just put off getting that one. And you'll see why. Eh. Yeah, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I really like the Senate Guards and Senate Commandos. I think they look really cool. I love their sort of, you know, Spartan-styled helmets. Uh, one of these figures is one of my absolute favorite Star Wars figures in my collection. I mean, one of my absolute favorites. Um, I, I think they're really cool. Uh, so, yeah, we have a representation from Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, The Clone Wars, and Revenge of the Sith. So, pretty much the entire prequel era, at one point, had... Uh, that was a burp. I know my burp sounds so horrible. Believe me alone. Uh, <laughs> pretty much all of them had a Senate Guard or Senate Commando in some way, shape, or form. And the Clone Wars even did have a variation of this guy at some point. I think with maybe a different style helmet or something. Maybe different clothes. Like cloth goods and all that. So yeah, really cool figures. Uh, let's start off with the, the, the one. The one that I put off for so long. That's the Power of the Jedi one. Yes, he's on a base. He doesn't stand up on his own. <laughs> his his rifle, which I love the design of the of the guard rifles, by the way. I think they're so cool. His rifle is really bent. That was right out of the box. Um, his head, um, that's I'm ugh, Look at that. It's like all glued up in there. It's like on a double peg. It's really weird. It might be breaking off. I don't know. If it breaks off, whatever. It's no biggie. Um, <laughs> it's kind of like cost me like a fiver. Um, so yeah, his gun, he holds it really firm. He, he's just really weird, dude. Like, look at his joint. Like, just look at that. Isn't that weird? Yes, I see it's stressing a little bit for me doing that. I don't care. Yeah, it's just, it's so weird how he's just popped together so simply. He's always stuck in the rifle holding pose. I mean, his, his articulation only benefits him being in that pose. And it doesn't benefit him being in any other pose beyond that. And look, if he poses his arms, his cloth is just dangling so awkwardly. He's got leg articulation that's essentially useless because it doesn't help him stand in the slightest. His head also looks really weird. Like, I don't know. It's like his face is painted and it's just... Ugh. He's got really nice shiny armor, though. His armor's a really nice glossy blue. When I say his armor, just his helmet. That's the only armored part of him. Uh, he's just... Oh, man. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I would say easy pass. I would say don't worry about him. I would say he's probably the... Um, you know... Yeah. Just, I only got him to make this video, basically. And then we have the Revenge of the Sith one, which is one of my absolute favorites. That's because he has a black visored helmet, and I think that just looks really cool. He's essentially just a recolor of the Red Guard, the Royal Guard, the Emperor's Royal Guard. But he's blue with a new helmet, and I think it's really cool. He has the same rifle, which is cool. He's got, you know, the, the shoulders that can hinge, and he's got the elbow swivels, which honestly, I know a lot of people don't like him. But look, just with an elbow swivel, you can get... Like, a little under 90 degree bend, you can get a straight arm, and you can get it inward. Like, honestly, that's pretty essential motion, all done with an elbow swivel. I'm just saying, it's not a bad joint. Um, and then he's got that. And then under his armor, or under his cloak, he's got really cool blue armor, which I really like. He's got a pistol in there. He's got, you know, a strap, and they painted it all, too. It looks super cool. It reminds me of a, uh, a G.I. Joe, like a, um, you know, a Valor vs. Venom era G.I. Joe character, like a, a Viper or something. It just kind of gives me that look. He looks really cool, though. I'd honestly love to have one of these and take the, the cloth. I'm going to do that. <laughs> it gives me an excuse to get another one. I think I'm going to do that. Um, I don't like how it kind of floops out, though. I feel like the stitching... Should have continued, like, most of the way down instead of just being right there. Thinks he's got back detailing, too. He's got a cape. He's really cool, man. I like him. I think he came with, like, a Coruscant-style base or whatever, something like that. He's cool. I, I recommend him. This is definitely one that I recommend, and he's one of the cheapest Revenge of the Sith figures, too. You can find him for, like, under 10 bucks in most places. Um, unfortunately, though, you don't really get too much head art. I mean, you get a little bit. 
you can get some head articulation. Just given the design of the helmet, you don't really get much. So yeah, he's one of my favorites. And then we have the Anomaly of the Vintage Collection one. Uh, I think this one was based off of Attack of the Clones. He's got the same style rifle. Um, he's His cloth material is just really high-end. You can kind of see it. It's like really nice feeling. It has no right to feel this nice. Unfortunately, though, because it is this material, it's fraying. I mean, this figure is about... What? We're looking at 10 years old at this point. So yeah, he's uh, he's fraying. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, it is what it is. He's got the pike, which is really cool. He's the only one that comes with a pike. Um, I think this one, yeah, you can pop his helmet off. And honestly, this, this is the helmeted one to get. Because his helmet, like his head is actually a separate head under there. You can see it's fully sculpted too. It's like a fully sculpted head under there. You can see right that right there. Even though if you do get it out, it's a really funny tube head. <laughs> I don't know if there's a picture of it. I'm sure you can find it. Yeah, let's get all this cloth off so you can kind of see. Um, he also has pretty cool armor. He's got like this cool armored arm here. And if we get the rest of it up at least, you can see, oh, that looks familiar. Oh, yeah, he uses the same body. Um, yeah, he just uses the same body. I don't even think they updated the, the legs with knees. He basically, he has new arms, but he uses the same body as the uh, Revenge of the Sith one. So that's cool. I like that variant. I think that's neat. He still has the, the pistol there. He's got an undercloak. He, he's cool, dude. He's cool. If you want to see what he looks like with a brighter cloak, if you're just curious, there you go. Here he's with a brighter cloak. So yeah, he's a cool one, man. Um, this is definitely one I'd recommend. I don't know what he's fetching nowadays. He is an older vintage collection figure, so be, you know, be weary of that. Yeah, he's with that material also. I had to clean it. It's like it's I know it's su not super clean even now, but I had to clean it before the video because it was really bad. Because I don't keep these guys behind glass or anything. He's been subjected to to dust and rogue hairs and everything floating around the room for a decade. So yeah, there is the vintage collection one. Really cool. Really cool. Really love that one. I just got to fix that fraying cloth at some point, but I probably never will because you never see it because it's down there. Anyways, we'll skip to Argaius because I want to save Jafon for last. So, Captain Argaius. I've had him for years, but he was missing his helmet. Another reason I didn't want to make this video, but I was reunited with the helmet quite recently thanks to a fan whose name I forget because I'm filming this at like midnight. You know how it is by now. I'm so sorry, but thank you. You know who you are. <laughs> um, yeah, he just uses the clone body. He's got a new upper arm there. Uh, he's, you know, he's the clone body from, you know, the 2008 Clone Wars clone. Because uh, for some reason, the Senate commandos, they had clone armor, but they just had a different shoulder pad and a different helmet. I don't mind. I think it's cool. And uh, I think Argaius was a, a cool design. Uh, kind of lame that he had his face exposed, uh, but thankfully they corrected that with Captain Jafon. Uh, but yeah, he's just, he's a cool guy. I like the white on the arm. I think it's the same pattern as Jafon too, but Jafon has a lot more white. Can you tell him a Jafon simp? Uh, <laughs> we'll get to him in a minute. But yeah, he's he's cool. He's got a white hinge in his, in his hand though, for whatever reason. Or I guess it's to match the white there. But yeah, I just find that so jarring. It's just a white hinge right there. Yeah, Captain Augaius. I'm sure he came with guns and all that. I just don't have him with any. And then I think it was a either Target or Walmart exclusive two pack. You got a normal Senate Commando and Captain Jafon. I ended up having to buy these guys separate. I got him from Tung Hori, and because Tung Hori sells factory rejects, this black elbow was not painted, and I had to paint that. And um, that's true. That's just what he sells. Like nine times out of ten, whenever I used to get something from Tung Hori, there was something wrong with it. And uh, <laughs> this is um, uh, this is Captain Jafon. I don't remember where I got him. Probably a forum or something. But yeah, remember when I said one of these was one of my favorite Star Wars figures in my collection? This guy. <laughs> he is my absolute favorite Clone Wars figure. Uh, absolute favorite. Um, and he's he's sweet. Anyways, let's let's just look at the normal Commando because he looks sweet. He's got the cool looking Spartan helmet. He's got a smaller crest. He looks ready for action. I wish I had another one. <laughs> I just have the one. But yeah, man, he's super cool. The blue clone armor just looks sweet. Ah, oh, man, I love him. I love him. 
he just looks so cool. But he ain't nothing. He ain't nothing compared to his captain. Captain J. Fawn. Oh my goodness. Look at that crest. Look at the blue right there. All the white deco. Oh my gosh. On the chest, on this arm, on the legs. Oh my gosh, he's gorgeous. On the back, too. What an absolutely gorgeous character design. Absolutely gorgeous figure. This helmet, too. Just, oh my gosh. Spartan helmet with the big old crest. Oh my gosh. I think it's even slightly bigger than our guys's. Nah, it's the same. It's just, you know, different color. Yeah, man, that is, this is sweet. This is just, oh my gosh. <sighs> I, I, what can I say, man? I think Argaius and his commando are very rare and expensive nowadays, which is, you know, no surprise. It's kind of funny, though. They're a darker blue than Argaius. So that's, um, did I say Argaius and his commando? I meant j -Fon. Um But yeah, like, Argaius is a lot brighter, which I find funny. 100% prefer the shade of j -Fon. 100%. Argaius is just a little too bright, and I think they corrected that, because Argaius came first. But yeah, there we go, guys. There's every Senate commando, Senate guard that Hasbro made. Only six of them. Not too many, but they're cool. They're cool. I do think some got different. I think he might have been released in multiple different ways. You know, it's that's just how it is. Yeah, it's a cool collection, man. It's cool. I like them. I think they're cool. I recommend them. Uh, well, I don't recommend that one. Pass on that one. Please just do not buy that. For the love of God, just don't. Even if you just want it standing there, it's just... I mean, if you just want it standing there, sure, but it needs a base. It doesn't even stand on its own. That one I strongly recommend. That one I recommend if you can find it for a good price. Argaius, I recommend if you can get past how horrible his character is. I mean, he's, he's, a, good, he's a cool character, but, like, he sucks, right? Uh, <laughs> and um, j Fawn and the Commando, if you can find them for a good price, highly, highly recommended. j Fawn especially. He has the J4 Seal of Simpery. I cannot get enough of Jayfon. I have his Lego minifigure. If they would do a Hot Toys, I'd buy that in a heartbeat, even though that will never happen. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man, there we go. There is every Senate Garden Commando. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.